from Windsor to come, sir. Thank you, Speaker. My question this morning is for the Premier. Good morning, Premier. Yesterday's Auditor General's report made clear that since 2005, the government has overpaid $8 billion of hard-earned taxpayers' money on P3 infrastructure projects. Six and a half billion of that wasted money came from the highest, the higher private sector borrowing costs that P3s incur. Speaker, earlier today, the Premier toured one of those P3 projects, the spur line of the Union Pearson Express project. Financing for that project was provided by some of Canada's largest and most profitable banks. How does this government justify picking the pockets of the Bank of Ontario to fatten the profits of Canada's largest banks? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, let me begin by thanking the Auditor General for the recommendations that she did make with regard to Infrastructure Ontario. I have a letter from the Board of Infrastructure Ontario that was submitted to me yesterday saying that they will indeed look into and work with all of those recommendations. What I can say, though, Mr. Speaker, is that it's incorrect to suggest as the member suggesting that $8 billion has somehow been lost in these projects. The fact of the matter is you can't point to a cost without also including the benefit. The benefit, Mr. Speaker, and it's in the report, is $14 billion in savings as a result of costs, Mr. Speaker, that have been shifted to the private sector, which means, Mr. Speaker, when you, when you uh, analyze that with the costs, it's about $6.6 .6 billion in net savings to, uh, to Ontarians, Mr. Speaker, as a result of the 74 uh, AFP projects that we presided. That's the full story, Mr. Speaker. That's what the thank member you. should be referring to. Supplementary. Speaker, thank you. The minister can try to spin this all he wants, but the auditor made it clear, made it clear there was no solid evidence for going the privatization of route on these 74 order. projects. In fact, her predecessor said the same thing in 2012 about the Union Pearson Express Sur line. He said very clearly that the numbers used to justify the P3 were basically made up. The government didn't listen then. It refuses to listen now. The government has already wasted $8 billion on public-private partnerships. How many more billions will the government waste before it listens to the advice of not one, but two Auditor Generals? <laughs> Speaker, I know this member to be a sensible member of this legislature, so it sort of surprises me when he would throw out a cost without also referring to the benefit. So I refer him, Mr. Speaker, to page 203 of the report, Mr. Speaker, where it clearly outlines uh, where the, where, what the difference is between what he's saying and what the auditor has said. It indicates on page 203 that there are $46.6 billion that have been spent under the traditional program. Member from Leeds, under AFP, those costs are $40 billion, which is a saving of $6.6 billion. A saving is a saving, Mr. Speaker. You've got to include the benefits when you talk about the costs. It's that simple. Thank you. 